Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news inflation from the global supply chain woes is taking the wind out of the global economic expansion. The American economy grew at an annual 2% rate in the third quarter of 2021, according to initial estimates, well below market forecasts of 2.7% and slowing sharply from 6.7% in the second quarter. It is the weakest growth of the pandemic recovery. But US jobless claims came in at 245,000 last week, lower than the prior week and lower than expected. There are now just under 2 million people on these programs, almost back to pre-pandemic levels. Meanwhile, the Kansas City Fed manufacturing survey is quite upbeat. All the key indicators were more positive in October than September, and while cost and supply chain pressures are still hurting, two-thirds of survey responders said they expect them to ease in the next 6 to 12 months. In China, central bank officials are admitting they have underestimated the strength of the cost inflationary push in their economy. They have apparently lowered their sights on 2021 growth goals and to ease the pressure on private firms, they are deferring some tax payment dates. In Japan, there are signs of improvement in their retail sector, with sales up 2.7% in September from August, which is an unexpected improvement. Overnight, there were two major central banks reviewing their monetary policy positions, the Bank of Japan and the ECB. Neither announced any material changes. But EU inflation expectations rose sharply in October to a new 10-year high. This is hardly surprising in the current environment when Germany's inflation rate has risen to 4.5% in October. And you have to go back to 1992 to find a higher rate. But at least containerised shipping costs continue to ease, even rates out of China. The US Treasury 10-year yield opens today up 4 basis points at 1.57%. And the price of gold is having another rise today, up $7 to $1,802 an ounce. And oil prices are down by a dollar to just on 81.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now just over 82.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar opens today 30 basis points firmer at 72.1 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, however, we're a little changed at 95.4 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're a fraction softer at 61.7 euro cents. That means our trade weight index starts today unchanged at just on 75.3 but still well over the top of the 72 to 74 range of the past 11 months and possibly now resetting this range. We welcome your feedback on these issues. Leave a comment below or on our website. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.